God bless you. It is so good to be with you on another Agape Time video. I tell you, I'm just so happy that I'm still here in the land of the living one more time to praise and glorify his name. And I am blessed of the Lord that you're still here to see this Agape Time video. Um, we're going to talk about on this video about coming out of your rut. Mm -hmm. And we want to encourage you and let you know um, that if the Lord speaks, um, you can rise up um, and be made whole. Um, and we want to encourage you um, to listen to my guest, um, Elder Marvin Fields from Christ Unity Church um, of Elton, Maryland. And he's going to give you um, what God has given him. Um, a Amen. Glory to God. Come out of your rut now. Oh, Elder yes. Field. Yes. Praise the Lord, Pastor. Uh, tonight I will be uh, giving you God has given me. So let us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, as we come tonight, Father God, we ask, so oh, Father God, that you give us clearance. Well, we know, Father God, we're living in a time such as this that we need the Savior. We ask, so oh, Father God, let me decrease as you increase. With the word of God, in Jesus' name we pray. Our heart and soul say amen, amen, and amen. My topic tonight will be come out of your rut. Rut. Let me tell you, there's times in our lives where people will put us in a rut. Even though you would think that you were, you are, you have it all together, but somebody prayed for me. I wouldn't have been here today, but somebody prayed for me. I could have been in prison today. I could have turned around and been dead today, but somebody prayed for me. And I say today uh, that, that, that free will is powerful. God gave us free will and it's powerful. And when we say free will, and then we look at how God has blessed us with the free will. He given us a choice. But in the book of Joshua, the 24th chapter, the 15th verse, he says, choose you this day whom you will serve. But for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that's what will bring you out of your rut, serving the creator and not the creature. Many of us have gotten caught in in our earlier years with serving the creature. We did everything that we thought we were big enough to do, but God, God took away the old man and placed me with the new. So the new man that lies within me, I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. For greater works shall we do in the name of Jesus. For every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. But I'm gonna go into the story of a young man by the name of Joseph. See, Joseph was put in a rut. In the midst of the, put, him being put in a rut, his brothers, had jealousy, envy, strife, and all these things, malice that was put into their minds that their brother was gonna take over. But when they turned around and put him into that, that pit and he became a slave to, to the Egyptians, Joseph didn't understand right away why his brothers would put him in a rut, but it was for a reason. God had a purpose for Joseph. In the midst of it all, Joseph had to go through some things. That's why I said when, when you're been put in a rut and you can't understand why you're in that rut, just understand that the greater one that's within you, greater, has a purpose for you. Don't think that you had done anything wrong. There's times that we, we made a choice, we made some bad choices in our lives. But just remember, when God's purpose, and you know that you are turning around and standing in, for righteousness and standing in the right standings with God, you will understand that the work that he has for you, you're gonna go through, the, through some things and you should understand that you got to hold on to his unchanging hands. But in 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, the fifth verse, we must examine ourselves to see whether you are in the faith, testing yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? 
And then when we look at the story of Joseph and Joseph had to, to, to hold on, Joseph was able to bring his brothers, his whole family out of their situation. Let's take a look. Genesis, the 45th chapter, the seventh verse, it said, when Joseph brought all his family into Egypt, he said, God has sent me ahead of you to keep you and your families alive. Many of us will go through some things just to have our family saved. We'll go through some, some, some trials and tribulations and persecutions. But we have to understand that God is with us. It's more than the whole world could be against us. So we must hold on to his unchanging hands. And then Philippians, the second chapter, the 12th and 13th verse, continue to work out your own, your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. So when we think about the goodness of Jesus in the trials and tribulations, in the, in the midst of the persecution, you will come out of that rut, but you have to hold on. You have to understand that God will provide. God will keep you in perfect peace. Just like the boys of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The fire sometimes is going to get hot. It's going to get, things are going to get turned up. But just remember God is with you. Just remember that God will provide. And in the midst of, 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 of those who feel like they just can't come out of the rut, drug addiction, uh, lust, all these things of the, of the world that seem like it's coming against you, you must realize this. You must get into the word of God to have a change of God in your life. There are some that will not read the Bible. There are some people that will not go to church, but they'll read you. So your character plays a great part in Jesus Christ. Your character will keep you in the, in the realm of what is next, Lord? What would you have me to do? to help someone else along the way. I remember my aunt used to sing a song, and I, when I was a little kid, I used to wonder why she would always sing this song. If I can help somebody along the way, then my living will not go in vain. See, we need, we're here for a purpose. So in that midst of it, don't think that because you're in a rut, that you were the one that caused that rut. People on the job that don't like you, dislike you, and those people that you're closest to you will say all malice and things against you. But hold on. Keep the faith. Believe. And that's this night I, I come to you to say that we're living in perils in times right now. But God is the one that's author and finisher of our faith. He told us there'll be wars, rumors of wars. He told us there'll be kingdom will come against kingdom, nation against nation, pestilence in the land, earthquakes and diverse places. But in the meantime, he told us to hold on. Believe it's gonna rain on the just as well as the unjust. But they that wait on the Lord shall renew their faith. They shall mount up as wings of eagles. Believe this day. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. But in the midst of it all, I say to you, empowered by Christ, the vine, we can and must bear much fruit. John 15, 1 and 5 says, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he trims, clean so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word. I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch 
can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me, I will in him. He will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So hold on. Hold on. And the true Christians can change. A true Christian can change. For God makes it possible through the spirit of renewal. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old has gone and the new has come. And I say this to you today. Change from the old, come into the new. And then in Ephesians 4 and 22, verses 22 to 20, 24. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupt by the deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Paul gives us specific instructions on what must be done. And then we must understand that there have come times where we need to press to the mark of a high call in Christ Jesus. We must fight the good fight of faith, for now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when you talk about I have did my best. God said, you continue to do your best and understand that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So come out of your rut. Those who you that, that need just to, just to hear a, a, a encouraging word, come out from amongst them. Be separated, saith the Lord. Because in order for you to change, change is not a change until you change. So I say to you, continue to look to the hills where come your help and strength. No, it all comes from the Lord. Love, even your enemies. Forgiveness. You must forgive. In order for you to come out of your rut, those who are unforgiven, you'll never come out until you forgive. Love conquers a multitude of sin. He said to us, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rise against us in judgment, thou shalt condemn. So hold on to God's unchanging hand. And remember, if God before you is more than the whole world can be against you. May God bless you, love you, and may God keep you in perfect peace. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you, Elder Marvin Fields. Come on up out of your rut. Uh, I don't want you to move because I'm going to be coming forth uh, and giving you what God has given me. Uh, amen, praise the Lord. Amen. I know you were blessed by what Elder Marvin Fields from Christ Unity Church of Elton, Maryland gave you um, on today. Hallelujah, glory to God. Amen. I know you were blessed by what the Lord gave us through Elder Marvin Fields. Now I would like to give to you um, what the Lord has given me. Um, and what are we talking about on today? Um, we're talking about coming out of your rut. Um, rise up uh, and be made whole. Um, that's the theme uh, of Agape Time videos. Um, and I want you to come and go with me um, into John, the fifth chapter, um, and the first through the ninth verse. Um, and as we get ready to celebrate um, the resurrection um, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, um, this is a good time 
time to rise up um, and be made whole um, and come out of your rut. Um, we're going to start off um, with verse one um, in John, the fifth chapter. Um, and as we go along, we may paraphrase, we may give you a quote, um, but come and go along with me. Um, and before this broadcast is over, um, if you don't know Jesus um, as your Lord and Savior, um, we're going to offer to you um, a salvation um, invitation. Um, now, let us start going into the Word of God. Um, we find out um, in this first verse um, that Jesus had just came back from Galilee um, and he's going into Jerusalem. Um, uh -huh. And as he's going in to Jerusalem, um, he sees that there is a gate. Um, some say uh, a sheep market, but it was a sheep gate. Um, and through this gate um, would come the sheep um, that were going to be offered um, for sacrifice. Um, and so um, we find out also um, that this was near a pool. Um, uh -huh. And they say in the Hebrew tongue um, that this, this pool was called Bethesda. Um, and it means house um, of mercy. Um, Ah, uh, thank God for goodness and mercy. Um, thank God for goodness and mercy. Um, and as Jesus um, is traveling along, um, he sees a multitude of people um, that are lying there uh, on five porches um, that is at this pool. Um, but let's stop a minute um, and look at number five. Um, mm -hmm. Many say um, that number five stands for grace. Um, ah, God, um, unmerited favor, um, something you and I never have earned. Um, but we find out um, that God has given us grace. Um, I want you to look at um, Ephesians, the second chapter, um, and the eighth verse. Um, it says, for the by grace um, are ye saved through faith um, and that not of yourselves. Um, it is the gift um, of God. Um, understand um, that the Lord bestows grace on us um, to help us uh, make it through um, when Paul was going through an infirmity. Um, hallelujah. Um, and asking God to take it from him. Um, the Lord said, um, my grace um, is the Sufficient for thee, uh, oh my, my, my God. Huh? Thank God for grace. Um, thank God for him bestowing it on us. Um, and he didn't give us grace um, just to have grace. Um, he gave us grace um, so we could give it to somebody else um, and encourage somebody else, um, give somebody else grace. Um, but let's continue on. Um, there was a multitude um, of impotent people um, who were lying on um, these five porches. Um, when something is impotent, um, it's disabled um, or it's powerless. Um, and all of these impotent people um, were laying on the five porches. Um, we'll get to the reason why. Um, but in the King James translation, um, it says that there were three Three groups um, of impotent people. Um, first of all, um, it says that some were blind. Um, hallelujah. They lacked direction. Um, have you ever been there? Um, I've been there. Um, but I find out in the word of the Lord, um, when you look in Proverbs um, 3, 5, and 6, um, trust in the Lord. Um, lean not to thine own understanding um, in all thy ways. Um, acknowledge him um, and he will um, direct your path. 
huh? So you may lack direction today, huh? You may not be able to see your way, huh? But trust in him, huh? And then also, huh? Some of the blind folks um, had blurry vision, huh? They could see a little, huh? But not enough, huh? They needed clarity, huh? They couldn't understand certain things. Um, have you ever been there, huh? I've been there, huh? But I find in the word of the Lord, huh? When you look at Psalms 119, huh? And 105, huh? It tells us, huh, as the psalmist said, huh? Thy word, huh? He's talking about God's word, huh? Is a lamp unto my feet, huh? And a light unto my path, huh? Oh, glory be to God, huh? And then the second um, group of impotent people were hawked. Uh, oh, my God, my God, my God. Huh? They were stuck um, in a rut. Huh? They didn't know huh, what to do. Huh? Oh, my God, my God. Huh? And they had challenges. Huh? When you look in 1 Kings, um, the 18th chapter, um, and the 21st verse, um, you see Elijah um, posing um, to the people. Um, how long? This is what he's saying. Huh? Halt ye um, between two opinions. Um, if the Lord, huh, hallelujah be God, huh, follow him, huh, but if Baal, huh, then follow him. Huh. In other words, he was letting the Israelites know, huh, you have to choose ye this day huh, whom you're going to serve. Huh. Hallelujah, glory to God. Huh. They had blurred vision. Huh. They weren't seeing things the way God sees them. Huh. Oh, glory be to God. Huh? We can't stay stuck huh? in a rut huh? or stuck huh? in our stuff. Huh? And also, huh? some of these people who were halt. Um, oh, praise God, um, had a lot of fear, um, had, had a lot of fear. Um, have you ever been there, um, been afraid to become, um, been afraid of people, um, been afraid to do, um, oh, glory be to God. Um, but the word of the Lord lets us know, um, oh, praise God, in 2 Timothy, um, the first chapter um, and the seventh verse, um, for God um, has not given us a spirit of fear, huh? but of what? Um, of power, huh? Holy Ghost, um, dunamis power. Huh? And then it says um, of love, huh? but we're talking about perfect love, huh? a guppy kind of love, because huh? the word of the Lord lets us know in first John, huh? perfect love huh? casts out fear. Huh? And then it says, um, and of a sound mind. Huh? When you got a sound mind, uh, you see things um, the way God sees them. Huh? But if you don't have the wisdom, huh? James said, huh? if you need wisdom, huh? ask for it, ask for it, ask for it. Huh? But as we continue on, huh? the third group of people were withered. Huh? When something is withered, huh, it means it went through a process of dying huh, or hardly surviving. Huh. But the word of God lets us know in Isaiah, the 40th chapter, huh, and the 31st verse, huh, they that wait huh, upon the Lord huh, shall renew their strength. Huh. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Huh. They shall run huh, and not be weary, huh, and they shall walk huh, and not faint. Huh. Hallelujah. Huh. Just wait on the Lord. Huh. He may not come when you want him, huh, but he's always on time. Huh. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, huh, but the Lord huh, shall deliver you out of them all. Huh. Hallelujah. Huh. So why were all huh, of these infinite people Huh, laying on these five porches. Huh, they was waiting for an angel huh, to come down and touch the water. Huh, amen. Huh, King
King James said, trouble the water. Um, and what it was, was um, whoever got in the water first um, after the angel touched the water um, would be healed. Um, hallelujah. Um, but as Jesus is walking, um, he sees a man um, who was had an infirmity um, for 38 years. Um, beloved, I know that must have been something. Huh? You know, he wasn't fit just physically. Um, hallelujah. Huh? Infirmed. Um, he also was probably mental and emotionally. Um, he had problems going on. Um, and Jesus, what does he say? Um, he says, will um, thou be made whole um, and whole is w-h-o-l-e um, he wanted him to be entirely healed um, oh god i thank you for your healing power um, and when um, when jesus said this um, the man gave him an excuse um, i can't get to the water in time um, i need a man to help me get there um, you see he didn't know who Jesus was. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? So then, huh? In verse 8, um, Jesus speaks um, and says, Rise, um, take up thy bed um, and walk. Um, he's saying that um, to you and me. Um, I don't know what diverse situations um, that you may be in. Um, they may be dark um, and you can't see your way out. Um, or maybe you're filled with fear. Um, but the word of God tells me um, in verse 9 um, immediately um, not next year um, not a few days later um, but immediately uh, hallelujah um, he was made whole um, yes he was um, and he took up his bed um, and he started to walk um, the Lord wants to speak um, into your life um, through the written word um, logo um, or maybe a spoken word um, a rhema word um, and let you know um, you need to rise up um, and be made whole um, as we begin to celebrate um, the resurrection of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior um, I'm encouraging you to rise up um, and let the Lord make you whole um, now if you don't know Jesus um, as your Lord and personal Savior, um, there's going to be a prayer um, that's going to come up on the screen. Um, I want you to repeat these words after me. Um, if you want to set them into your life um, and it's going to say, Lord, come on and repeat it, y'all. Um, maybe you just want to renew your vows um, with the Lord. Um, I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Um, and I believe that Jesus Christ um, died on the cross for my sins. Um, I ask you to come um, into my life um, and be my Lord um, and Savior. Um, Thank you, Lord, um, for hearing my prayer um, and saving me um, in Jesus' name. Um, amen, amen, amen. Um, if you repeated that prayer, um, he stepped in. Um, let him come in. Um, no, it's all not going to happen overnight, um, but let him step in. Um, there's going to be some contact um, information that's going to to come on the screen. Huh? Honey, if you want to know more about salvation, huh? contact us. Huh? Let us pray with you. Huh? Whatever you stand in need of, huh? I want you to know, huh? like the old folks used to say, huh? whatever you need, huh? God's got it. Huh? Whatever you want, huh? God's got it. Huh? We're going to have unity prayer. Huh? 6 a.m. Um, unity prayer um, in the month of April um, on the 7th and the 21st um, and then 9 a.m. Um, Bible study um, April 15th 
18th and the 29th. Come on and join us. If you can't be there, hallelujah, on the call, then be there in spirit. As we get ready to go off, I want you to understand something, that the worst is over and the best is yet to come in your life. God bless you. Stay encouraged. The Lord loves you now.